Okay, Shalom, I'm back. I want to grab this passage um, really quick. I got interrupted by a call, man. I want to grab this little story really fast to kind of further prove what we say, man, as far as you heathen going into captivity. Now, uh, this story is about, I ain't going to read the whole story, but I encourage brothers to read the story. It's actually a, a good story. Um, but this is uh, when uh, Balak tried to send Balaam to curse Israel, Okay. He tried to send Balaam to curse Israel, and, and Balaam's curses actually were turned into blessings, man. And, you know, he figured out that there's no enchantments against Israel. There's no enchantments against Jacob. Okay. But Balaam, um, or I'm sorry, Balak uh, says something to Balaam, right, that which I'm going to grab um, that is real significant, man. Okay. And it goes with what we're saying now. Okay, so this is Numbers 24, and I'm, I'm not going to read all of this, but I'm going to read, uh, I'm going to go to 17, okay, because he was mad because he couldn't, you know, he, he was mad, Balak was mad because Balaam couldn't, uh, didn't curse Israel, but he couldn't. As a matter of fact, when he was, you know, on his way, uh, one of the times when he, because he tried, he was after Israel a bunch of times, or a couple of different times, but when he was actually on his way, um, his donkey actually seen an angel, you know what I mean? And uh, <laughs> he kept smoking his donkey. He's kept smoking his donkey, but his donkey was like, he didn't see the angel right there. You know what I mean? But his donkey did, you know, and uh, then his eyes was, uh, you know, he was, he was able to see, uh, eventually he was able to, the Lord allowed him to see, you know, the angel and he bowed, you know what I mean? He was like, oh, you know, and, and obviously he didn't complete his mission. So at this point, right, Balak is very fed up with Balaam. But this is what Balak said to Balaam. Okay. So this is uh, Numbers 24 and 17. It says, I shall see him, but not now. I shall behold him, but not nigh. There shall come a star out of Jacob. Okay. Now that star out of Jacob is talking about Yahweh Shai. Okay. It says, and a scepter shall rise out of Israel. And shall smite the corners of Moab and destroy all the children of Sheth. And Edom shall be a possession. Seir also shall be a possession for his enemies. And Israel shall do valiantly. Okay. It says, uh, <laughs> I'm going to go down to, uh, I'll keep reading through 19. It says, out of Jacob shall come he that shall have dominion and shall destroy him that remaineth of the city. Okay, so when Yahweh Shai comes back, because they knew that the Lord was coming, you know, they eventually, because they knew that the Lord was coming, man. Okay, so when the Lord comes back this time, He's going to come back with all power, and then you heathen will be in subjection. Okay, under Israel. Okay, it says twenty. It says, and when He looked on Amalek, He took up. His parable and said, Amalek was the first of the nations, but his latter end shall be that, yeah, shall be that he perish forever. Okay, and Amalek go to go back to what? Esau. <laughs> okay, so when you go to Obadiah, right? You know, but before I get Obadiah, let me grab this really quick. Let me grab this really quick. Yeah, man. You motherfuckers ain't getting away with this. You know? Yeah, right here. This Psalms 50 and uh, uh, 20. Uh, Psalms 50 and 20, it says, Thou sittest and speakest against thy brother. Thou slanderest thine own, own mother's son. Now, who's the brother of Jacob? Esau. Okay, it says, These things hast thou done, and I kept silence. See? These things have you done. You've been getting away with this shit so long. Right. And the Lord said he had kept silence and he said, thou thoughtest that I was altogether such as one as one as thyself. So you thought, you know, that uh, the Lord was with you, but he's not. He says, but I will reprove thee and set them in order before nine eyes. And that's currently happening as we speak. OK, it says now consider this. Ye that forget the most high, lest I tear you in pieces and there be none to deliver. OK, so you thought the Lord was, you know, uh. All together with you heathen, but that's not the case. The Lord is actually redeeming Israel in the midst of the captivity that we're in, man. And you can read that in Baruch, the second chapter. Okay? 
This is actually happening. So this is a living book. It's prophecy. This is why we don't go into those other books. This is why we don't, because those other books ain't saying nothing. Okay? They're not saying anything, man. And you niggas ain't even on one accord. <laughs> Majority of you. This is Obadiah 1. At 1, it says, The vision of Obadiah, thus said the Lord, the Most High, uh, concerning Edom. We have heard a rumor from the Lord Yahweh, and an ambassador as is sent among the heathen, arise ye, and let us rise up against her in battle. The pride of thine heart hath deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock. And who dwellest in the clefts of the rock? Uh, Esau. You can read that in Job. It says, whose habitation is high, that saith in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, and though Though thou set thy nest among the stars, thence will I bring thee down, saith the Lord Yahweh. Okay, let me go down to the point. I did a video on this earlier too. Uh, let me go down to the point really quick. Well, I'll go down to ten really quick. It says, "For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever." Okay, so you Edomites will be cut off forever. Okay, for the violence against us man for the violence against us period man okay and again right the higher ups of you heathen right understand that the least of you heathens understand is you low level heathen that don't understand you know what's really going on but us being out on the highways and byways is really you know and us doing these videos is really a a staple right in prophecy Okay, that these higher ups understand, and this is why they fear. See, they're not getting bunkers for no reason, man. Okay, don't get it twisted. They know it's to come. <laughs> okay, they know it's to come. You know, it's you low, lower level motherfuckers who don't know what's to come. But you know, the higher up, they know what's to come, man. And what's to come is death and destruction upon two thirds of our people, and upon you heathen and the wicked, oh, the top wicked, the most wicked, which is Esau. Okay. And that's going to issue the destruction. And what's issued during that whole process is the destruction of America, man. And this place will be destroyed by thermal nuclear, thermal nuclear missiles. That's says the scriptures. Okay. So with that, man, Lord, one of the videos, edifying, Lord, I can got something from this video. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Kakadash. I want to tell you, brothers, keep pushing on to the next. Shalom.